don't even want to get too far here today. Okay. This is where she would come and feed him. Oh, really? Yeah, like right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look it. This has been fixed like every two, three months. Wow. New jams, new doors. Continue to construction. Yeah. <laughs> Eats right through it. Yeah. Right through it. New, uh, when it was 4th of July, the CBs have these kind of windows. That's a good example. See how we don't anymore? Yeah. He broke right through these on 4th of July because I wasn't home one time. Yeah. And I don't know how he didn't kill himself because he had to keep pushing it open until he could get the metal to break up. And didn't get cut and got in the house because he was that scared. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, so he's a lot of anxious stuff. A lot yeah. of nervous. Yeah. He's, he's getting he's getting super protective. He's protective of you guys, and uh, he doesn't need to be protective. Like he's not. There's no reason. I don't know. Well, but he thinks there's a reason. Right. So um, he's just he's not the guy that should be having that job. He should have a more relaxed job, okay. <laughs> hanging out. Um, okay, so so cool. I just want so you've to obviously see seen this before. Yes. How do you even get near a dog like I mean, like that? Would be yeah. Careful. Yeah. <laughs> you just gotta so keep we're the, gonna we're gonna go out of here. We're, not even, we're gonna go out of here and have you walk out with us yeah. and get more of a mellow thing happening, and then we'll we'll work it from there. Okay. I'm just saying, you don't have a muzzle or anything. You want to uh, I've got with? I've got muzzles. Do you have a way to do it yourself? Uh, do you have a muzzle with you? I, we did have one this morning. You'd probably be a lot smarter at first. Yeah, you want to do that? Yeah. Just toss it on. I mean, yeah. is it still in the truck? <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. Come on. Come on. He can, he can open up doors uh, really well. It's like any kind of handle. Sick. Puts his one hand on there and, and grabs it and just yanks it. Calm down. So something just for you guys to just kind of get in your mind uh, before uh, as a kind of a foundational concept is when he's like this, the last thing you want to be doing is petting. The last thing you want, it, you think oh. you're soothing him, but you're actually encouraging him. It's the last thing you want to do. It's just like laying down and hanging out and comfy. Then maybe good boy would be appropriate. But Grimm is nervous when he's wanting to attack him, right? So that's not what we want to say good boy. Hey, everybody. I'm here to, uh... How are you guys? Good. How are you doing? I'm here to drop off Grimm. <laughs> How's everything going? Good. How's it going? Good, good, good. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so the ignoring is because you don't want your, your association back when you're starting this new relationship with him. Right. That you're just the source of, a, of excitement and mm -hmm. affection. You want to be first the source of leadership so he can be comfortable. Then you can share the other stuff. So first I earned that stuff. I, I got his respect. Then I started to give, her, give him some softer stuff. But you got to come with the first one. You can't start with the other one. So the whole reason why he's comfortable at my place and doesn't try and bite or get territorial is because it's my place. Unequivocally, it's my place. So that's what we need to do. We need to create the same thing in your spot. You run that joint. He, he's, he's your dog. I thought I did, but I got you. Yeah, well, it's a, <laughs> lot of, it his, huh? it's a lot of subtle stuff that goes on that causes those kinds of misconceptions. You know, so dogs are, 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 are super tuned in and if there's anything going on that's, that's not fulfilling their needs or giving them clarity about what their position is with a dog that's, that's a little more intense like this, they're going to start to make some choices on their own. This is what I you had. imagine. It makes sense. Yeah. So let's, let's go check it out, see what we get inside okay. and go from there. Yep. <laughs> so, where are we coming with the house? So. Okay. Okay. Oh, so every time you make a suit? Well, right now, because it's he's got an unfamiliar vibe about this place. Right. So I'm saying that's not the vibe anymore. The vibe is you listen to people, you don't have to do your own thing. So, and whereas you guys were, were struggling to get, at least when I saw you, struggling to get compliance or get him to listen to you, right. so I'm not having to yell or anything like that. It's just a quiet conversation if this is what I'm looking for. So if you want him to respect you, that's the way you get it. 
by, by raising your voice, you might freak him out momentarily, you might overpower him, overwhelm him with, with sheer volume, but you won't get him to view you in a respectful fashion where he's going to listen to you and listen to us. You want him to just view you as the rocket altar, right? You say no, you mean no, you're going to follow through, you never get annoyed, you never get frustrated. I mean, it's, it's a tall order, but that's, oh, what that's what we're shooting for. Just like if you've got a boss or anybody who's a supervisor or in charge or a leader, and you see them trying to lead, and they're freaked out and frustrated, yeah. and like, uh, it's not really the guy I want to follow. Right. It doesn't make sense to us, it doesn't make sense to him. So that's why a calm, cool vibe will get you far further than trying to overpower him with intensity. No! Any of that stuff? That's not. I'd rather not say anything. So. A quiet, cool, cool hand loop kind of approach is what we want to do with this guy. The best way you can make him feel comfortable and be safe is just handling everything, telling him what to do, and letting him be a dog. That's, that's the best way to create balance. The way to unbalance a dog is the way, if you ever watch Dog with or you ever see anybody on those shows like that, it's because they're humanizing the dog. Yeah. And, and pushing feelings, projecting feelings on the dog that the dog doesn't necessarily have. And those feelings make you feel guilty, make you feel bad, make you feel all these different things which then makes it hard for him to take you serious as a leader because you're a weak source even though you're this big, you know, you're, you're a strong masculine dude but he sees that when you're in that state of like, God, I'm not, he's been here all day while I'm working on the really? platform That's crazy, I oh, yeah. yeah, it's it's huge So he's just no, that, reading you guys I He's see reading what the problem would be, everybody in the house all the time He's reading, what's going on? You don't even need to say anything, he's reading So, so your gig it is to be as balanced as you can be when you're in his presence. So when I walk into people's homes that have got a lot of discord or they're, you know, uh, I have so many people's houses that I've gone into that are in the process of getting a, a divorce or separation but they haven't told me yet, right. but the dog's a disaster. And I'm like, well, what's going on? And then find out three months later that, yeah, we got separated. Mm -hmm. and so there's been all of this human emotional discord going on. The dog's just um, becoming a disaster from it. So the best thing you can do, which is the hardest thing, is like have everybody in your household be super balanced. You know what I mean? That's what the cool thing about dogs. You want a healthy dog? It's, I mean, I know it sounds like a tall order, but that's that's what makes them feel comfortable. It's just by you know. Yeah. When, when I started off before I was even a trainer, I had my dogs were a disaster. They were a mess because I did all that stuff. I was guilty and I and I babied them and and I thought I was sharing all this love and it just made them a wreck. And I would you know always late so I'd be running anxiously out, out the door and I left all this anxiety behind and my dogs would get into separation anxiety, all everything. So to help my dogs out, I had to adjust my emotionality, I had to see what they really needed to be fulfilled and I had to also adjust how am I interacting in the house, am I anxious, am I, am I frustrated with stuff, not even with the dog, just like business or personal relationships, any of that stuff, all that stuff affects your dog. So the e-collar it's just think about it like an invisible leash, right? So it's just a way to communicate with them from a distance. So you don't always have to be next to him holding a leash, something like that. So what it tends to do is it, it causes him to behave a different way. Just having it on causes him to be in a different gear. It's all you know, the, the analogy of like when a policeman's driving behind you, you drive yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. Right yeah. As soon as he gets off the freeway, you're like, cool. <laughs> so yeah, having that on is kind of like having a bit of an uh, authority figure always connected to him. So it keeps him in a, in a better mode. Now what it allows me to do is I can, I can ask him for all sorts of different behaviors, and then I can also correct him if he, if he, if he gets distracted or he blows me off. So at this point, this is only for back insurance. I'm not pressing the button when I give him commands, but if he blows me off, think of it like a leash, pop, saying no, no, no. So if I stay down and he doesn't, I'm going to pop this. That's all. Right? Grim, come. Place.
So as long as he sits there quiet, he's cool. But if he starts growling or getting worked up, then we're going to crack. So who wants to get the door and let Laura in? You want to get the door? So your job is to make sure I would go to like 45, stay relaxed, and don't care. If he makes a mistake, we just correct it, do it all over again. should be jealous, but I'm not, because look at straight to him and not me. No, that's what I'm saying. It's not jealousy. It's more like... No, he knows. It's, he it's, knows. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. realization. Yeah, and that so little nice. bit of petting he just did to the grim is like, wow, I've been waiting days. Right. Right. So yeah. what's and it normally like with strangers? Like, what's... He's never real. Be you, you guys saw what it's normally like with <laughs> strangers. <laughs> But this part right here, him just being tender like that, and he's on release, that's with him release. Yeah. yeah. He acts like he's more uh, under... Uh, under tension. Know, under, than, yeah. yeah than like when you had him under command, this is release, and he just wants to be right next to you. Yeah, so he's just, he's so used to being calm and chilled out with us, that that's kind of what his lifestyle has become. So he, he just wanted here okay to relax, but he well, had to earn well, it. Well, I mean, the okay just means, it, it doesn't mean that about earning it, it's just... But like, I mean, he didn't take been... off what I'm saying. I thought when you go okay would mean, oh, I'm finally, he doesn't want to. He wants to stand right here and wait for you what to tell him to do. Well, that's, look, that's yeah. the cool thing about leadership. Is I like that it. Leadership no, is he, what he actually creates. is waiting for what to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, like I always talk about on my blog or on Facebook yeah. or anything, is that leadership creates comfort. And I can't stress that enough. No, I hear leadership what you're saying. Leadership creates man. comfort and relaxation more than anything else in this world that we can do for him. So, I haven't given him a lot of affection. I haven't done any coddling or holding or haven't done any, you know, singing him to sleep or anything like that, and and he's feeling great about me, and he's feeling more comfortable about his I world. I see that. Everything we've done. It's like I'm not even here. Yeah. It's okay. I mean, I'm not mad at all. But you'll have the same. Exact That's what thing, I'm saying. I can earn that. In that balance. For that. you to be able to come over and get that is just amazing, because that comes from him trusting you mm -hmm. and knowing that you're going to tell him only what he needs to do. And I've been very firm with him. That's what I mean. So my firmness with him has created respect. Right. Exactly. So now he, he trusts me, but he respects me. So that's the juicy balance. Now he doesn't really want to be the boss, is what you're saying, too. No. He's not the alpha dog. No. So no. he yeah. prefers to be the one that's not, and he needs you to be. Okay. Yeah. Because every dog needs a leader. So he's, he's being forced to be one, is what you're kind of trying to say. Imagine before. like imagine taking like a 10-year-old kid and saying, you know what? You're going to be in charge of the household for the next six months. Yeah. You're going to earn all the money. You're going to pay the rent. You're going to pay the bills. You're going to make sure shopping's done and food's cooked. Imagine the pressure that you put on a kid yeah. to do that. It's the same thing for these guys. When we don't tell them what to do, we're not saying take care of the house, but they automatically feel that that's their job. So that's what he's been doing. <laughs> well, the whole the whole gig with me and him is is I'm, uh, he, he's got to earn all this stuff, and I have to earn it. Right. So he's got to earn my affection, but I've also got to earn his respect. He's going to test me if I don't have the right stuff. He's not going to listen. To me. Right. So right. if I tell him place and I can't Makes make sense. it happen, he's going to be like, <laughs> Yeah, you're the same way we are in life, life too, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Don't tell you what to do. You just laugh. At him. Yeah, they got no to earn control it, right? of you. Yeah. Somebody that wants to lead you says, "I'm going to lead you." You better prove it first. Prove that you're worthy of it. If you prove I'm worthy, you're worthy. I'll follow you. Makes if sense. If you're not, I'm, I'm not into it. <laughs> Oh, and you'll see it in about a week. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you very, very much. Yeah.